we are we are completely surrounded by bison. There's one walking up the path right next to my truck. Right there. After all the signs that we've seen, we finally made it to Wall Drug in Wall, South Dakota. We're gonna go in and see all the stuff that's inside, all the touristy things and the gift shop things and souvenirs and all the kinds of food they have too. Today is Brooke's birthday and so we're gonna look for a cake for her as well. place. There's a cafe, there's a place to eat, there's a soda fountain shop, there are all kinds of shops and lots of kitschy touristy stuff. <laughs> Wall drug was everything we thought it would be. Yes. And then some. Yeah. It was and big. then exactly what we thought. Yes. <laughs> so we're back in the car. Uh, we are headed down to Badlands. Yep. yep. We're going to go down around the uh, east side to the visitor center over there, and then we're going to drive back through towards the west, back towards the uh, where we're staying out in Rapid City. And uh, we like doing these things later in the day because they are prettier. Because mm -hmm. when you go in the middle of the day, you just have that high noon sun and nothing's really, you know, it's all kind of featureless and drab. But when you drive through in the evenings, like if you're able to, not every place is open this late. Um, but when you're able to drive through these places like this in the evening, you get that nice, that low sun and the long shadows and the kind of golden, you know, the golden hour daylight. So it's, it's neat. So let's go see what it looks like. One quick stop between Wall and the Badlands is the Minuteman Missile National Historic Site. Uh, this is because uh, they have missile silos out here in the middle of nowhere during the Cold War. And this is, uh, they've preserved a couple of them. You can do tours in them. Uh, we don't have time for that, nor do I think the children would really go for that. Uh, so we're gonna run in here and get the stamp and uh, sticker, and then we'll continue on to the Badlands. First, you duck, and then you cover. It's a bomb, duck and cover. Duck and cover. It's a, a cool little exhibit. Uh, the kids, uh, I think Tara and Ben are both asleep in the car, so I ran in and check it out. Uh, which, good timing too, because they closed about two minutes after I walked in the door. So I zipped through the uh, exhibits there just to get a check it out real quick. And uh, head back to the truck, now we go down to the Badlands. Well, 
uh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> we're just driving down the road and we turn to go towards the main gate. You go through the gate and then... Badlands. There you are. That is <laughs> awesome. Yeah. Um, this is kind of otherworldly. Like a lot of these national parks we're noticing, especially out west, is like alien landscapes. Like <laughs> Yellowstone was just geysers and weird stuff yeah. all over the place. And this is... This is neat. So different. It's so weird. So the Badlands is, was created by deposition, like deposits, and erosion. And this all used to be just the floodplains of this area. And then water started creeping down into it and just er eroding the ground. You can find all kinds of fossils in all the different layers that have been exposed. Each layer you can see in the descriptions they give you of what era it comes from and if you can see the black layer that's the oldest and it's between 65 and 75 million years ago during the Cretaceous period. Wow. Yeah. So exciting. <laughs> <laughs> so wait, we're not even to the visitor center yet. Nope. It's about four and a half or five miles inside the gate we came in. So we're gonna head down to the visitor center here. Um, I guess maybe power through Junior Ranger real quick uh, and then we're gonna do the loop. There's a loop that goes all the way through the park we came in the east side, we're gonna head west to go out the west side, so we should be driving past a lot of this, and I am, I am very much looking forward to it. Back to the truck, down to the visitor center, yes. through the park. so so many colors out here this entire area was underwater millions of years ago and all these colors are actually from different layers of different types of sea life that died and fell to the bottom and created this soil so then when the water all went away long ago when the continents started drifting apart uh, all of this stuff started getting rained on and it eroded and as these different materials were exposed to the air they oxidized in different ways and became these different beautiful colors. Uh, we just drove through this area called the Yellow Mounds. Uh, it's very obvious to see why they're called that, but it's also neat, like the further west we go through here, a lot of these, uh, these little valleys and crevices and stuff actually have green down in them, like the grass is growing in them. We're guessing it's because there's more topsoil down inside of them. All the way out to the east, there was no green whatsoever in any of these crevices. Uh, so this, this landscape is just changing continually as we roll through the park. I think we're maybe halfway through, I'm not even sure. So we're gonna just keep on going and see how else it changes. by bison. Uh, Aaron's filming some out the window here uh, and then uh, over here. <laughs> yeah so uh, they're everywhere. We are we are completely surrounded by bison. There's one walking up the path right next to my truck. Right there.
Apparently, when you leave the Badlands, you drive into the Shire. Yes. <laughs> it's beautiful here. We just came out the uh, the western entrance of the Badlands, and we're working our way back towards Rapid City, where we're camped. And uh, it's kind of pretty out here. It's very pastoral. Yeah, it is. There are no hobbits. No. At least we haven't seen any yet, but we're looking. <laughs> so we got surrounded absolutely surrounded by a herd of bison and it was awesome yes. the kids were thrilled they were looking out the windows every which way I, we wish we had more cameras but yes. it was <laughs> it was really really neat there were babies there were mamas there were teenagers there were big huge old oh, yeah. daddy bison oh yeah we were a little worried about them we were yeah i didn't want that one of them to you know kind of like headbutt the truck or anything <laughs> it's uh, so badlands two thumbs up We'll do oh, three. three. The other one's up. Four thumbs up. <laughs> uh, for sure. Very, very, very neat park. And kind of out in the middle of nowhere. Yeah. We did see a lot of campgrounds out here, though. So Places to stay. Yeah, and we know there's BLM land out here as well. Um, but we're, uh, we're going to sign off for today. We're going to head back into town, hit the store, get some food, go home, sleep. It's been a long day. Mm -hmm. A lot of driving. So Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share. And visit us at 5to go.com. Bye. Thank you.